Hi dear friends and subscribers, welcome to the cricket show, cricket happening show with your host Ram today. Well in this cricket show what I am going to look at is first I am going to look at yesterday's match which was a sort of an upset because it was between Mumbai Indians and Rajasthan Royals. Yes we know Rajasthan Royals have been doing well, they are on the top of the table but today they showed their superiority by crushing the Mumbai Indians by 87 runs. So I will talk about that match. So that was that came as a surprise uh, for the way the Mumbai Indians uh, actually batted against the Rajasthan Royals. Uh, that was something very surprising. Um, I mean, uh, actually, uh, they, they were set a score of 179. Rajasthan Royals making 179 for three of their 20 overs, and Mumbai Indians uh, put a very very a team display there, uh, being all out for 92 and uh, so that was something that the home fans there in Jaipur would have definitely cheered for Rajasthan Royals, so their home team won there. So I'll talk about that match. Then we will have a look at the match between Bangladesh and Zimbabwe. The second day's play has ended at the Harare Sports Club and uh, Zimbabwe, well, they went on to make their uh, very good score of 380 and probably they could have got more, probably they would have got in excess of 400 but well they ended up 389 all out thanks to captain Brendan Taylor uh, having the highest score made by a Zimbabwe captain in test history uh, that was 171 the previous highest was Andy Flower who actually did it against Pakistan uh, and that was 156 so that record has been broken so as a captain Brendan Taylor has a proud record of making the highest individual um, runs uh, in test history for Zimbabwe, he made 171 and then Bangladesh replied, uh, well they, they had a firm reply, they were 95 for 1 at close of play. We look at that and the meanwhile, I will also give an update, in the meanwhile what I see here is that uh, Chennai Super Kings uh, who put 169 for 4 of 20 overs playing in Delhi Daredevils, now Delhi Daredevils one would remember that uh, they are still still searching for their first ever win in the Indian Premier League 2013, so they are definitely in the dumps here and in fact they are really going into the dumps in this match too because what they have done is they have already lost two wickets um, of um, two wickets are down for 16 runs in the third over uh, in fact the first to go was uh, David Warner I will come to that right now I see Vrindar Sehwag and Captain Mahila Jayavardhane uh, at the crease and it is a huge responsibility on both, the, both these men uh, to really take uh, Delhi out of this hole uh, and really make uh, I mean really you know really um, challenge this uh, Chennai Super Kings total they're definitely capable of but whether they're going to do it uh, that is going to be seen well so what I'm going to do is I'm first going to the match between Rajasthan Royals and Mumbai uh, Rajasthan Royals were the ones who actually batted first and they put on 179 for three of their 20 overs now they started off very well Shane Watson was looking very good in his knock of 31 of 25 balls with five fours and one six but Ajinkya Rahane Continuing his poor, continuing his magnificent form uh, in this Indian Premier League 2013. Not only that, what was good to see is Ajinkya Rahane has made it a habit of carrying through the entire innings and probably has done it twice now. And the way he has been doing it, it's a very mature approach from him. Uh, you know, initially allowing all the other batsmen to uh, really, um, you know, give them the strike and allow them to go for their strokes. And only when the final analysis comes into the final analysis, Ajinkya Rani really comes to the party and slams the balling. Uh, and that is very good to see. So now Ajinkya Rani is like a sort of a pillar for Rajasthan Royals in this particular Indian Premier League 2013. In fact, he was the one who was there along with the other partners. Uh, um, uh, Dilshan Yagnik was uh, actually promoted in the batting order. He came. In fact, Rahul Dravid, the captain, didn't even bat. So that was very nice of Rahul Dravid to actually promote uh, Yagning to the batting order because he has this ability to play unorthodox strokes as we have seen and he really contributed a very uh, quick fire 34 of 24 balls with 4 fours and 1 6. Uh, Ajinkya Rahane as I said uh, carried his bat through the innings. Uh, he had an unbeaten 68 to his name of just 54 deliveries 8 fours and 1 6. Uh, Stuart Binney was out cheaply run out for 4. Uh, Brad Hodge as I said he rattled runs. Uh, I definitely spoke about that but probably not in greater detail and 27 of 15 balls with uh, uh, with uh, two sixes. Now Mitchell Johnson went for some tap four overs, went for 41 runs. Uh, Malinga going for 30 runs of his four overs. Uh, Daman Bowl two overs for 20. Pragyan Oja four overs, none for 31. Kiran Polar two overs, no maiden, one for 24. Bajan, Harbhajan Singh four overs, no maiden, one for 26. Now look at what Mumbai Indians did. Now Mumbai Indians didn't have a good start at all. The opening, uh, even though they have got a 50 start um, in, in a previous game, 
But what one has seen is that Tendulkar and Ponting, of which much, much would have been expected, uh, have nearly not come up with the goods. It's really, really vital that the openers laid a foundation, and that's pretty, pretty lacking. Mumbai Indians, if you see, the middle order has been good, the lower order has been good, uh, but the middle order has been pretty solid, uh, you know, with Rohit Sharma, Kiran Pola, and Bhati Raidu coming in. But the Mumbai Indians' um, opening has been a real struggle, and that to two stalwarts in the middle, uh, that, that is not something uh, Mumbai Indians would like to have. Mumbai Indians would like to really, really change the script there. And, well, Mumbai Indians, they lost their, both their openers uh, pretty early. Tendulkar was out for one. Chandila would have been a very grand person because he was the one who was given the ball by Rahul Dravid uh, to bowl. And uh, he immediately uh, struck gold there by actually first getting the wicket of um, Sachin Tendulkar, who was uh, going for a sweep. Top edge, they caught Betravedi for one. Ricky Ponting uh, left. He was caught in bowl with Chandila for four. What two gold wickets there for Ashok Chandila to show for himself. Uh, and then uh, Dinesh Karthik, who was the form man, uh, couldn't get much support and he himself, you can't expect every time that Dinesh Karthik will play. But, uh, well, Dinesh Karthik still contributed 30 runs of 32 balls with 3 fours. But uh, basically, uh, basically that was not enough, unfortunately, uh, for uh, Mumbai Indians. Uh, and he couldn't play those big innings. And Rohit Sharma failed uh, uh, pretty miserably. He was gone for two. Now, again, Rohit Sharma has also been delivering the goods. So it was too much to expect from him too. He was out for two. But Kiran Pollard was out to a beautiful delivery from uh, Stuart Vinnie, which came and struck the stumps of Kiran Pollard. He was gone for one and that made the score uh, when, when uh, uh, Pollard and Karthik departed it was 61 for five, became 63 for five and Davan was out for a duck to Stuart Vinnie. Uh, Harbhajan Singh followed him to the pavilion, uh, run out for uh, one. It was a serious misunderstanding which he had with uh, Davan there. Uh, Mitchell Johnson was cleaned up by Faulkner for seven. Uh, and it was very, very difficult for the um, only thing Ambati Raidu uh, really contributed something of note of 20 son of 29 balls, but it was not enough at all. And finally, the Mumbai Indians couldn't even reach the 100 score. They were all out for 92. Uh, look at the bowling of Ashok Chandila at the start, uh, dismissing Tendulkar and Ponting. Two overs no made in 2 for 6. Uh, Ankit Chavan bowled 3 overs for 10. Very economical there. Faulkner was very impressive with his bowling. He has been impressive. 3.2 overs one made in 16 runs and 3 wickets. Uh, Trivedi, 4 overs one made in. One for 17, always has been delivering in Indian Premier League 2013. Uh, Bini was very good today. Bini was amongst the wickets. Three overs no made in 214. And he took this very vital wicket of Kiran Pollard who could have really uh, harmed them. And Kevon Cooper, three overs no made in 1 for 25. He was a bit off color today, but doesn't matter. Uh, Rajasthan Royals won the match very pretty comfortably. In fact, it was a crushing win for them by 18, 87 runs. Uh, and then Ajinkya Rahane for his exploits was named man of the match. Now, from here... Uh, we will shift on to the Bangladesh-Zimbabwe uh, test match, uh, which was played at the Harajuku Sports Club. The second day's play, uh, Bangladesh resuming at the overnight score of 217 for four, with Brendan Taylor uh, 110 not out, and uh, he was partnered by Chigumbra. Uh, today, uh, it was not uh, much of a resistance, uh, other than Brendan Taylor, as I said, he went on to be uh, get on went on to become the highest individual scorer as a captain for Zimbabwe in test history, making 171 runs of 324 balls, 8 fours and 2 sixes, uh, played superbly. Uh, he couldn't get much support today. Chigumbra was uh, gone for 12. Uh, Mutumbami, who was making his debut, made 11 of 13 balls. But Creamer was the one who really lent that support to Brendan Taylor uh, because two wickets uh, went pretty quickly in the morning uh, with Chigumbra uh, gone with the, with the total on 223 and Mutumbami departing with a total on 238. But after that, uh, it was another good partnership. The way uh, the other day we saw Brendan Taylor and uh, Malcolm Waller combining in a fourth wicket partnership. But this was a partnership for the seventh wicket. Graham Creamer, the all-rounder and also the right-arm leg spinner, uh, came in very handy. He played some very nice strokes uh, and he was actually... Uh, playing very confidently and that made uh, Brendan Taylor give him much of the strike and you know uh, he was uh, probably uh, it was much suited and that was a very good partnership uh, which took the score from 238 to 344 so it was some good work done by Creamer who contributed 42 uh, with three fours after that uh, there were some good lower order contributions to Keegan Meth made 21 with one boundary Masakadza that is Shingarai Masakadza the spinner uh, spinner he made uh, 21 of 49 balls uh, with two fours, uh, and uh, well, um, Jarvis was not out on three, and that was it. Um, in fact, Zimbabwe finishing off on a respectable score of 389 all out. The bowling figures well, Robbie Luslam uh, took three wickets for 84 runs, two for 87 for Rubal Hussain, three for 133 for Inamul Haq Jr., and Ghazi had 255. Now, as far as uh, Bangladesh were concerned, 
looking at the reply that they did, uh, they, they started off, uh, I mean, uh, Jarvis was actually, he would have got his first wicket in the first over itself, the five balls he had actually uh, did very well, he was getting some movement off the pitch too, but Jarul Islam was dropped, it was a chest high catch to Graham Creamer in the slips, and Graham Creamer actually grasped it, and that really, uh, they really paid for it, because after that Jarul Islam started playing some attractive strokes, uh, there was a, a lot of sense of timing in his strokes, and it was good to see, uh, and Sharia Nafiz and Jarul Islam actually uh, putting together an opening part of 53 uh, before the only wicket that fell for Bangladesh was Sharia Nafiz who played some good pull shots in his knock of 29 of 39 balls with four fours before being a victim of Jarvis it was caught, Baru caught Maruma bowled Jarvis for 29 and that was 53 for one and after that Mohamed Arshabal came in as you know Mohamed Arshabal today is a much improved player and he came in and gave some very I mean a much needed support to Jarul Islam as I said he was looking good with his stroke play Jarul Islam and Mohamed Ashrafal also played well played some a few strokes and he was not out on 23 of uh, with four boundaries Jarul Islam was not out for 38 of with seven boundaries and Bangladesh finishing off the day on the second day at Harare Sports Club at a very very um, in a, a nice manner finally at 95 for one Jarvis was the only wicket taker, 8 overs one made and 1 for 39 for Kyle Jarvis. Keegan made 8 overs 2 made and 1 for 22. Masakaja got some spin too there. Uh, Singare Masakaja 1 for 16. Uh, Chigumbara uh, bowled 2 overs for 14. And Creamer, there was uh, from spin uh, spin from Creamer, uh, that was 1 over which was a maiden. So, um, so that is the match situation as far as Bangladesh versus Zimbabwe is concerned on the second day. So there is a long way to go for Bangladesh, no doubt about that. Uh, but I think it's an interesting day's play in the third day to see how the Bangladesh batsmen really shape up. Um, as, okay, so let, let us leave from here uh, because I have probably another five minutes left on this YouTube broadcast. So let me take you over and tell you what exactly is happening here uh, at, um, uh, at, between uh, Delhi Daredevils and Chennai Super Kings. And just going through the scorecard there, Chennai Super Kings were the ones who uh, actually batted first. They were the ones who actually won the toss. And today Michael Hussey was back in the team and Michael Hussey, what, a, what an important contribution he made. He played through the, throughout the uh, entire innings and contributed a very hard hitting 65 of 50 balls with 6 fours and 2 sixes. Uh, Murli Vijay was the only victim, he was LPW bowl marker for 18 of 13 balls with 3 fours. Shreyas Raina played a good hand, 30 of 32 balls with 5 fours. But Dhoni was the one who really gave the sort of uh, really pushed to this particular uh, scoring uh, because he came when uh, Reiner departed at 90 for 2 uh, that was in the 13th over but uh, with Dhoni coming in you know how uh, what sense of urgency uh, really comes in and that's what and then Michael Hussey and Dhoni were involved in a very very good partnership in fact uh, that was a partnership which was worth 74 runs where Dhoni contributed a very very thrashing 44 of 23 balls with 5 fours and 1 6 and one of the shots that he played was absolutely electric because that is known as the helicopter shot uh, Umesh Yadav was just uh, you know I think it was Morkel and Umesh I don't remember but it was a wonderful shot from Dhoni it was just whipped away for a boundary and Dhoni is, so special, Dhoni is so special in that and Dhoni you know he has always been contributing for Chennai Super Kings 44 of 23 balls with 5 fours and 1 6 uh, Dwayne Bravo was on out of the last ball for three and then Michael Hussey as I said he played a good hand 65 not out of 50 balls six fours and two sixes and Chennai Super Kings um, um, putting up a good score of 169 for four on the board and so the bowling figures were concerned uh, Shabazz Nadim three overs uh, none for 22 Irfan Patan four overs one for 30 bowled well Moni Moikil was a bit costly one for 42 Umesh Yadav uh, uh, good, looked good in patches 4 was 1 for 33, 1 over 9 runs for Sevak and Ajit Agarkar getting, uh, getting the first match here in the Indian Premier League 2013 uh, didn't look so um, energetic or I wouldn't say he was looking very good his 4 overs cost him 29 runs as far as, uh, as, far as Delhi Daredevils are concerned uh, they lost their first wicket with uh, David Warner uh, being clean bowled by, uh, by it was Mohit Sharma who actually has played a one match, this is his second match uh, for Chennai Super Kings and Mohit Sharma actually clean bowled David Warner for one so that was the first wicket to go and here I see that one more wicket has gone Morris has taken a wicket there and he has got a most important wicket he has knocked Mahira Jayavadani out in fact Vinita Sevak also hit a beautiful six of the bowling of uh, uh, Moni Markle of uh, Albi Markle uh, which was really whipped away of the middle and he just uh, put it over the fence for a six and he's looking good he's the sole hope for uh, Delhi Daredevils now because if at all they have to pick up their 
first win in the Indian Premier League 2013. He is not out currently on 17 of 12 balls with 1416. He has lost uh, Juneja, uh, who was LBW bowled uh, Mohit Sharma. Now Mohit Sharma has taken two wickets for eight runs of his two overs. So he was gone for two. And Mahila Javadane just dismissed, uh, just going there live to the ground to see what exactly is happening. Uh, I mean, Javadane has been just dismissed. He was gone LBW bowled Chris Morris for one. This is the second over from uh, Chris Morris. Now Chris Morris um, ha has come in and bowled. Let's, let's see what is the latest situation. Uh, in fact, now I have another wicket going here. That is not good news for Delhi Daredevils. It is going to be very, very difficult from now on because they have lost. Virendra Sehwag was looking good and Virendra Sehwag is gone. He has actually got a short of length delivery from Mohit Sharma. And Mohit Sharma, let me tell you, from Chennai Super Kings, absolutely on fire today. What he has done is bowled superbly. He has got some good pace too. And 2.1 overs no made in 8 runs and 3 wickets. His name has taken 3 wickets out of the 4 wickets fallen. And Virendra Sehwag is the victim as he tried to hit the short of length. Um, you know, try, and he has holed out to uh, Michael Hussey and at the end of uh, Vrinda Sehwag, so out for 17. So right now, Jeevan Mendes is in the middle. I think Jadav, Jadav will be joining in. And Delhi Daredevils are absolutely, innings are in tatters right now at 30 for 4, uh, hunting for their first win in the Indian Premier League 2013. So with this live update, your host Ram is leaving you for now, but promising you that I'll be back, back, with, uh, back with a full match report uh, tomorrow on this particular match. Until then, it's a big goodbye from your host round. Thank you.